uh, I've successfully solved the Riemann hypothesis. As hmm. Um, you've probably already seen this video or some of the replies to this video. And I'm a research mathematician, so let me walk you through what would it take for a proof of the Riemann hypothesis or other great open problem in mathematics. Maybe this is the greatest open problem in mathematics right now. What would it take for the mathematical community to accept such a proof? The very first step would be to post a copy of your paper in the mathematical archive, which is a public archive of preprints where we research mathematicians post our preprints, so papers with, before they are published or even before they are submitted for publication. We post them here because mathematicians like me or other research mathematicians have access to the archive. And here's where we usually get notices that some paper in some area has appeared and we would see a proof of the Riemann hypothesis show up and people would start looking at it. Now, here's a problem. To be able to post a paper in the mathematical archive, to be able to have an account on the mathematical archive, you have to have some reputation in the mathematical community. And a person who doesn't have a PhD advisor or who is not a PhD student in mathematics, who is not a mathematician, uh, might not be able to create an account right away. Uh, so you first need to show your paper to some mathematicians. If you're not a mathematician yourself, you have to show your paper to mathematicians so that they have a first look at it and say, yes, this looks like something the community should look at. So since Jackson doesn't have enough reputation to post the archive, uh, what he could have done is to send the paper to a few number theorists in the community that have worked on topics related to the, num to the Riemann hypothesis so they can have a look at it and see if there is something worth looking at. I don't know, people like Peter Sarnak, James Maynard, uh, Ben Green, or uh, Terence Tao, people of that sort. I would send it to a few people at the same time that way a few people know that they have received this message and nobody's going to go and steal your idea uh, once a few mathematicians at the same time have received this proof. The same goes for the archive. Once it's posted in the archive, you that's a better way of claiming that you have solved it than posting something on TikTok, say. The other option is to send your paper to a prestigious journal, such as the Annals of Mathematics, which apparently uh, this user has done, and there the editors will look at it and uh, they will send it to referees if it looks like something legitimate, and other people will start looking at it, and that will be a way for it to be evaluated. Now, he has posted the abstract of the paper here, and I can tell you without any doubt that a paper with this abstract on the Riemann hypothesis will be rejected right away, and most mathematicians will not take it seriously based on what's written here. Now, that might be just because, well, maybe this person is not a trained mathematician and this abstract, it just reads like a little bit like gibberish, uh, but maybe there is something in the paper that is actually a good idea to consider. I don't know. So here is an option. I'm a mathematician. I have enough reputation in the archive. So if you want to send me the paper, I will have a look at it. And if the paper looks like something legitimate, I will sponsor you to be able to post it on the archive where a proof of the Riemann hypothesis belongs. And then other people can have a look at it and criticize it or admit that is correct. So the ball is in your court.